Hello there, how are you doing? I sincerely hope you're doing great. I am also doing great. So thank you so much for joining me today and a very warm welcome. So Kate Middleton attended the Wimbledon men's singles final alongside Princess Charlotte and her sister Pippa on Sunday. This marked Kate's second official public engagement since she announced in March that she had been diagnosed with cancer and was undergoing quote-unquote preventive chemotherapy. And her appearance at Wimbledon didn't seem to attract so much attention for someone who's been missing for such a long time. Just the same way as she didn't garner so much attention during the trooping of Kala. So this just tells me that Kate is not a person who people um, find as interesting like they do Harry and Meghan, right? And I'm just going to use one example and I believe I had shown you this earlier. So it was even reported after the event that BBC blow as Wimbledon viewing figures suffer a big drop in Carlos Alcaraz repeat. Saying the BBC suffered a massive drop in viewing figures on the final weekend of Wimbledon. Yet Kate was present, right? You would expect that the figures would go up but they actually dropped. But for Harry and Meghan who attended the Aspies, the figures actually went up. And the headlines were like, Thursday rating, the Aspies on ABC rise to largest total audience since 2019. And uh, nothing did seem to go well for Kate and her sister at Wimbledon. First of all, when Kate arrived, uh, she got a standing ovation, which I'm still questioning the reason for it. Like, why would she even be given a standing ovation? She might have undergone preventive chemotherapy, but does, that doesn't mean that she had cancer. In fact, through her own words, it just shows that she didn't have a cancer. She was doing preventive chemotherapy. And people didn't understand why she was getting this standing ovation, right? And even the UK media themselves didn't understand why she got a standing ovation. So there was this segment on Jeremy Vine's show where they were discussing Kate getting the standing ovation. What about that? Yeah, so <clears throat> I totally understand why people were delighted to see her. It's good to see her looking well, etc. And... You know, that is beautiful. However, I felt slightly uncomfortable with this because because of just thinking about everybody else that's going through cancer treatment. And Did you? Because yeah, I thought they were clapping for everybody in a way. But I'm I know someone who's figures. having an operation this week. It's brutal. She's got to keep mm. the show on the road with the kids. She's got to work. She's it's real struggle, right? Mm. And I'm just saying that... I understand totally. Everyone's like, oh, thank God, she, everybody loves her, right? Of course. And it's wonderful to see her looking healthy and well and happy. But she's going to the tennis, and that's a nice thing. And I just wonder whether I personally think some people will find that a little bit like, okay, you know, okay. I wish I could have the same kind of fortunate position. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, I, I just do, thought do, it do. was worth bringing I that do. little but note I think we Exactly. This to me seems like they are applauding Kate for whatever reason to do with cancer, right? But how many other people are suffering from cancer yet they don't get such treatment? Kate is even privileged that she is uh, using taxpayer money, just getting so many privileges that so many other people don't get. So for her to be given a standing ovation, I don't think she is deserving of it. Like there's so many people out there who still go through the same and they might feel a bit uh, left out. They might feel like they are not as important as Kat Middleton, right? And this to me screams the same message that uh, Alison Pearson's article on the Telegraph on 15th June did. She said that our fair lady Princess of Wales's self-display was the tonic that Britain needed, saying when lesser mortals would have stayed at home, Catherine pr approved that the show goes on. That is when Kate attended the trooping of Callum.
Why is she being held with so much regard when other people are also suffering from cancer? And this article was definitely ridiculed so much. It was so vile. I mean, why would you call other people who are suffering from cancer lesser mortals? When they are struggling so much that Alison Pearson has no idea about it. The kind of things that they go through on a daily basis can't be compared to what Kat Middleton is going through. She is much more privileged. So to me, it just seems like they look down upon other people who have cancer just because Kate um, apparently suffers from the same, which we aren't even sure because her statement didn't say she actually is suffering from cancer at the moment. And the UK media were really stretching this story about cancer and Kate Middleton at Wimbledon that one article even said Kate Middleton's Wimbledon dress may have been a nod to her cancer battle. Oh come on, whom are they trying to fool? We know these members of the royal family and how much they love to be pitied but we are not falling for it anymore. And apart from that, there was also a very awkward moment for Kate and her sister Pippa at, at Wimbledon. The UK media actually reported on these first before they deleted all their posts. The Daily Mail had even written saying that Pippa Middleton suffers awkward moment with Carlos Alcaraz at Wimbledon. Another one, uh, Carlos Alcaraz Wimbledon celebration with Princess of Wales had awkward, uh, had awkward Pippa Middleton moment. Another one from the Mirror read, Kate Middleton caught on camera in awkward Wimbledon moment with Sister Pippa. So there was this awkward moment whereby Kate tried to summon the Wimbledon champion to introduce her sister to him. But he just walked on and they started clapping awkwardly to save face. Now just imagine if this had actually happened to Megan. So here is even a clip of how the events unfolded. How embarrassing is this? You see how Kate was trying to pull Pippa to introduce her to Carlos Alcaraz, but he didn't seem like he wanted to talk to them anymore. He was just avoiding that conversation and he walked away. And Kate was left there um, looking awkward and she just started to clap because that moment was for sure really, really awkward. Well, the video had even been uploaded by some of the UK media outlets such as the Daily Mail. But it didn't take them long before they took down the video. And I believe it's because the invisible contract is still at play, right? They definitely don't want to taint the name of the future queen or queen consort of England. But one thing I can attest to is that such moments never happen to Meghan. She's always recognizable wherever she is. And these big celebrities, whenever they meet Meghan, they always look like um, they're very comfortable talking to her and it's very rare for Megan to have these awkward moments like Kate Middleton. But I know if this had actually happened to Megan, the UK media would have a field day, right? They'd be talking about this day in, day out and that video would be spread all over their social media. But for Kate, the video has even been taken down. But thank God, there's lots of evidence to show us what actually happened. And the New York Post had even written saying that after Alcaraz en engaged in a short conversation with, with Middleton and Charlotte, he appeared to depart from the venue before talking to 40-year-old Piper, despite the princess's apparent efforts to introduce the two. The three royals were in attendance at the center court on Sunday for the May uh, for the men's singles final. Well, it's just weird that Kate tried to introduce her sister in the first place. If she wanted to actually introduce her sister properly, then she would have done that uh, when she was greeting Carlos Alcaraz, right? But she waited until um, he was done talking to them is when she tried to introduce her sister, which didn't go as planned. But anyway, that is just what I wanted to share with you for today. So kindly 
let me know what you think about what we have just discussed and then i'll see you all next time have a wonderful and amazing amazing time bye